Today's video is all about chickpeas. First up, this chicken flavored chickpea rice. I'm using some basmati rice that I pre-washed and rinsed until the water ran clear. So we're gonna go ahead and add some olive oil to the pot along with some dried onions. These are also called chopped onions. And then I'm gonna add some chicken powder. This is the Noor brand of chicken powder. This concentrated version of chicken base will become more like a chicken broth once we add water to it. Then I'm gonna add some curry powder along with some garlic granules and black pepper along with some parsley. Now I'm gonna add my garbanzo beans, which are commonly called chickpeas, along with the juice to the pot. And then I'm gonna add some water just about an inch above the rice line. You know that I wanna be good for you. You know that I wanna be good for you, I do. But sometimes someone was bad for me. Go ahead and bring the rice to a boil. Once you bring it to a boil, go ahead and reduce your heat and cover with the lid. Since our theme today is all about chickpeas, we're going to use some chickpea flour in order to make the chickpea patties. Now, chickpea pl uh, flour, <laughs> say that three times, chickpea flour is simply made up of garbanzo beans. Look here in the back of the bag and compare it to the right side of the screen. It's the same thing. I'm going to leave the ingredients and measurements in the description box for all of the recipes I'm making today in this video, including these seasonings. I have here some coriander, chicken flavor, a little bit of bacon soda, etc. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in some more curly parsley. After we give this dry mix a good stir, we're going to go in and add some hot water. The hot water will replace an egg because the hot water will act like a binder to these dry ingredients. Go ahead and give that a quick stir and i'm going to switch over to my bacon spatula here just to get all the ingredients well incorporated and this is the texture and consistency i'm looking for it's able to hold up on the spatula now our chicken flavored chickpea rice is also ready look at how all the rice is nice and loose nothing is stuck together it's really 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 come together well and that's a close-up look of the rice Go ahead and cover it, leaving the lid slightly open so that the steam can escape. Now, I'm just putting some, uh, some of the chickpea flour down on a piece of parchment paper in order to scoop out some of the mixture to form my patties. As you can see, if you pay attention to the scooper, the mixture is having a slightly difficult time releasing itself from the scoop, and that's completely normal. This mixture is quite sticky, so you want to make sure that you add some of that chickpea pea flour on the bottom and on top of the patties just before you form them. I have some olive oil in my skillet warming up just while I roll out some of the patties. Now, if you find that your mixture is still too sticky, go ahead and place it in the fridge for about 10 minutes to chill. I made a combination of patties along with some balls. I did this for my children because they prefer the more round shape versus the patties. Now these patties will not take a long time to get golden. About two minutes per side or less actually should be sufficient. Go ahead and drain using a paper towel at first, but then you want to remove your patties from the paper towel and transfer them to either a plate or a cooling rack, just like the one you see here in the video. Okay, the final addition to our dish will be this tomato, kale, and cucumber salad. We're going to go ahead and slice up some red or purple onions, and I'm just going to give them a quick pickle in some red wine vinegar. Removing the skin from the cucumber is completely optional. I wanted to give the um, appearance of stripes on the cucumber, and that's why I took off some of the skin. So I just went ahead and sliced up the cucumber. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the tomato by removing both ends and slicing the tomato as well. Next, I'm going to finely chop some more of that curly parsley. And once I'm done chopping the parsley, I'm going to go ahead and chop some kale in the same manner, very finely chopped. I rinsed my kale in some lemon juice and cold water prior to chopping it into these fine pieces. Next, we're gonna add some feta cheese crumbles. 
Then I'm going to show you some of this roasted red pepper hummus. You will not see the hummus on the plate until the end. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my pickled red onions to the salad, followed by a squeeze of lemon juice. Since our theme today is all about chickpeas, chickpeas can be commonly found in a lot of Mediterranean and Greek dishes. So I went to a Greek restaurant called Little Greek to purchase this Greek dressing. Then I added a drizzle of this submarine sauce or dressing. You can find this in your deli section. Now this dressing is typically used on sandwiches, but if you add it to any salad, it'll definitely kick up the flavor. It's heavy on the tangy versus sweet flavors and it's also pretty herbaceous so you'll definitely want to try this on your next salad go ahead and give it a quick toss and add some salt and pepper and you're all done so i want to thank you for stopping by today go ahead and give this video a like share and subscribe thanks and i'll see you next time